Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about my most anticipated reads for 2019. So today's video is one of my favorite videos to film of all time just because I love learning about the new releases coming out for the whole year and I look forward to many of them. This list is actually quite quite long. There are 38 books on this list. But since I don't really know all that much about most of them, then I don't think this video is going to be that long of a video. Hopefully it won't. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Future Avery. Yeah, past me was wrong. This is going to be a very long video and you're going to actually see me pop up often in this video because I didn't explain like over half of the summaries to y'all. I was unprepared at the time and uh, editing this, I realized that it was pretty stupid of me. <laughs> so you're going to see me popping in every now and then to tell y'all synopsises of books I did not tell the synopsis about. Anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna talk about the books that I'm most looking forward to coming out in 2019. Okay, so the first one I have to talk about is actually like not a specific book. It's an author. Um, that's Emma Ham. She is coming out with a lot of books this year. She has said she's coming out with a bunch of books this year. And I'm super duper duper excited. If y'all didn't know, by my, my favorite reads of 2018, her first two books in the Otherworld series, Heart of the Fae and Veins of Magic, were actually on that list. And I love them so much. I still have to continue on with the series. And I think the sixth book in the series is going to be coming out this year. I still have yet to read three through five, which I plan to do soon. But she's coming out with a lot of books this year, like many different types of fantasy, different books. She's already come out, I believe, with one. So if y'all are into adult fantasy, romance fantasy, or just fantasy in general, go check out Emma Ham. I will link her channel down below. She just became an author tuber, if that's what it's called, and I totally recommend you watching her videos as well. So for the next book on this list, I actually talked about it for my most anticipated reads of last year. It was in the last video because I thought it was coming out in 2018. That's what it said on Goodreads, but it's not out yet. And that is the third book in the Velvet Trilogy by Temple West. I, I really love these books. These are like vampire books that I love nowadays. Really, really, really love them. Loved the first book. And the second book is self-published. So I think Temple West is um, self-publishing the rest of her books. I know she just came out with a poetry collection, which I have yet to purchase. I have heard nothing about the third book at all. And I really want it in my life because because the second book ended on a cliffhanger that I would I need more <laughs> so I'm, I'm I just I want the third book so badly but yeah if you didn't know the series vampire series a girl moves in next door to this really big mansion turns out there's a vampire there and he ends up having to be her bodyguard for a reason that you will learn in the book but it's really good it like got me back into loving vampires again it got me back into that feeling I had when like Twilight first came out and I really loved vampires I felt like that, but it doesn't, it, it's not like Twilight at all, but like it gave me that nostalgic feeling. Okay, <laughs> next is probably, I think, my most anticipated read of the year. Most anticipated. And that is Wayward Son by Rainbow Rowell. <gasps> this is the second book in the Carry On series. I don't know if it's a series or a duology. I don't know what's going on there, but it's the second book after Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. And Carry On is one of my favorite books of all time. And I cannot wait for this one. I couldn't find a particular set date for it. All I know is that it's coming out in 2019 and I need it in my life. Didn't know what Carry On is. It's based off of a fan fiction story from this book down here, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. But Rainbow Rowell decided to make it into an actual book. And it's kind of like Harry Potter fan fiction in a sense, but it has its own unique quality to it that made it so much more special. It's so good. And I am really, really, really looking forward to the second book because I love Simon and Baz so so much. <laughs> Number four on this list coming out in 2019 sometime we don't have a set date yet or I haven't found one yet is The Fountains of Silence by Ruta Sepetys. Ruta Sepetys wrote one of my favorite books of all time Salt to the Sea and that's a World War II historical fiction novel and she's actually come out with another book called Between Shades of Grey which is another historical fiction book set in World War II and that's actually becoming a movie soon. Okay so for this summary all it says on Goodreads is fortune, fate, love, and lost during the Franco dictatorship in Spain. Next, I already currently own this book because it came out on January 8th, and that is Slayer by Kirsten White. I was looking forward to this book so immensely. I still have to read it because I'm currently reading a book that's taking me a while to get through, but I want to get to this one as soon as possible. I love Kirsten White. The Conqueror Saga that I read last year was one of my favorites of all time, and this is a reimagining of Buffy the Vampire Slayer set in the Buffy the Vampire Slayer world, but not actually 
I don't think having Buffy in it. It's a different Slayer, new Slayer. That's all I know about this book. And Buffy the Vampire Slayer is my favorite TV show of all time. So I'm really looking forward to this one and hope to read it soon. Next is Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen and McManus, which came out on January 8th. It's already out, but I have yet to purchase it because your girl has no money. <laughs> I know nothing about this book except that it is a, I want to say thriller-esque YA book. And I'm not really into those, except I really enjoyed one of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. I really loved the audiobook. I read it early in the year of 2018 and I really enjoyed it. Wasn't expecting to. Really enjoy it though. And so maybe I can get the audiobook for this one soon too. Next we have Stained by A.J. Howard, which is already out. It came out on January 15th. I learned about this book from Haley from Haley and Bookland. I know nothing about this book and the only reason why I put it on this list is because I heard it was a princess in the pee retelling and I love retellings. I've never heard about a princess in the pee retelling and that was one of my favorite fairy tales growing up so looking forward to this one too. Number eight on this list is The Cold is in Her Bones by P. Peter Nell Van Arsdale. I'm so sorry. I am butchering that. And this already came out, I believe, on January 22nd. Okay, so the summary for this one. Basically, we have our main character named Mila. She lives in this fantasy-esque land, but she's never ever been able to leave her farmhouse her family has never allowed her to but then one day a random girl named iris comes along and asks for shelter she starts being friends with her but then iris reveals to her that basically their whole entire town is run by a demon who possesses girls at random and the townspeople live in terror of who it will come for next um and it turns out iris is the one that this demon wants and he captures her and so mila goes out to save her when in actuality she might be turning into a demon herself. Number nine is Circle Shadows by Evelyn Skye and this also came out on January 22nd. Okay so this one's a little bit difficult to explain. Um, basically we have our main character Sora who I think is trying to become like a warrior or kind of like an assassin alongside a guy named I think Damon. I think that's how you say it. They are apprentice warriors for the society of Tagus, who are marked by the gods to be trained in magic and the fighting arts to protect the kingdom of Kachana. But as their graduation for this apprenticeship approaches, Sora and Damon have to show the group that they're worthy of this position, but there's not really any violence in their city town that they live in. So um, they decide to go basically searching for trouble she is the one who also wrote the crowns game and i still haven't even read that book but i've heard great things about it and i hope that this one is just as good as that one next is a curse so dark and lonely by bridget kamer which comes out on january 29th i think this is a beauty and the beast retelling correct me if i'm wrong but i love beauty and the beast retellings i really really loved letters to the lost by bridget kamer i read it last year and i absolutely fell in love with our two main characters and the whole storyline and so i put her next book on this list and hopefully it will make me feel the same exact way next is 99 percent mine by sally thorne which also comes out on january 29th so this is a new adult romance book and it is all about a girl named Darcy. She believes that she found the love of her life at age eight, whose name is uh, Tom. But when they were kids, Darcy's brother found him first, essentially, and they are best friends. And so he's basically off limits for her. But then it's, I think, years years later they're trying to restore an old family house her and her brother and then tom comes back into the picture and he's single for the first time in 10 years and it just the repercussions of all of that and i heard that sally thorne writes amazing romance books and i just purchased the hating game by her and i've heard great things about that one number 12 is on the come up by angie thomas which comes out on february 5th so this is the same author who wrote the hate you gift which made my top favorite books of the year of 2018 and it left quite a big impact on me me, and I really hope this next book can too. All I know about this story is that I believe this about this young girl whose father was a rapper and she's trying to become a rapper too. It's all I know about this story but I'm looking forward to it nonetheless. Courting Darkness by Robin Fervers and that comes out on February 5th as well. Okay so this one's kind of hard to explain. So in this we have two main characters Sabella and Genevieve and Sabella is the darkest of death's daughters and she has a mission to keep her two youngest sisters safe from the family that nearly destroyed all of them and that means going to friends with the duchess but then they get surrounded by enemies but then there's another main character genevieve 
who has been undercover in France for many years. She is also part of the covenant that Sibella was a part of. The fate of everything they hold sacred rests on a knife's edge. Will they find each other in time or will their worlds collide destroying everything they care about? Next I have a book I actually won a giveaway for on Goodreads and that is More Than Words by Jill Santopolo. I believe that's how you pronounce it. This comes out on February 5th. I have yet to read it but I really hope to read it soon in the next couple days and this is all about a girl named Nina who is trying to deal with her grief and going through life after her father has passed away. This just seems gorgeous. Look how beautiful this cover is and I can't wait to read it soon. It looks really good and I think I would really love it. Say You're Sorry by Karen Rose coming out on February 12th. Special Agent Gideon Reynolds has tried hard to put his past behind him. He escaped the violence of his cult upbringing when he was just 13 and since then routine and discipline have been his way of making sense of the world. But when a petite blonde woman crashes into his life he begins to realize that a little bit of chaos might not be so bad. Daisy Dawson has had more than her fair share of pain too but she's done being a victim. Daisy's determined to explore every new experience she can, including getting to know the dark and serious FBI investigator she meets when she fights off a masked attacker one night. It soon becomes clear that Daisy's attack was just the beginning. Now the bloodied bodies of young women are showing up all over California, and as Gideon tries to find the killer, it's clear that Daisy is in more danger than she ever realized. Number 16, the next book is Four Dead Queens by Astrid Shalof. Shalafi. I'm so sorry. I cannot pronounce her name. Um, coming out on February 26th. Okay, so this is a YA fantasy book. We have our main character, Kareli. I think that's how you pronounce her name. And she is a ruthless pickpocket in the kingdom nation that she lives in. Four queens rule over all. We have Toria, the intellectual quarter that values education and ambition. Lueda, the pleasure quarter that values celebration, passion, and entertainment. Archia, the agriculture quarter that values simplicity and nature. And Ionia, the futurist quarter that values technology, stoicism, and harmonious community. Then one day when she's doing her thievery, Corelli, like, witnesses all four queens murdered in four brutal ways. And she hopes that, that teaming up with a boy named Varen Bolt, the uh, messenger she stole from, will help her figure out who all of this. Okay, the next book is coming out on February 26th as well, and that is Warrior of the Wild by Trisha Levenseller. How do you kill a god? As her father's chosen heir, 18-year-old Razmira has trained her whole life to become a warrior and lead her village. But when her coming-of-age trial is sabotaged and she fails the test, her father banishes her to the monster-filled wilderness with an impossible quest. To win back her honor, she must kill the oppressive god who claims tribute for the villages each year or die trying. I mainly put this book on my list because I'm currently reading Star of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller and really am enjoying it. So I put this one on my list because I'm really enjoying her writing style a lot. She's very fast and easy to get through and I'm really liking the way she tells her stories. Number 18 is Shout by Lori Hulse Anderson coming out on March 12th. And I'm solely putting this book on this list because she's the author who wrote Speak and I really loved Speak growing up and I don't have a copy anymore. I believe I read it through my library when I was little, but I really loved her first book and I can't wait to read the, I think, Companion or series. I'm not really sure, but anything by her, I'm gonna pick up. Number 19 is Sherwood by Megan Spooner coming out on March 19th. This is, I believe, a companion kind of to the book Hunted by Megan Spooner, which I really enjoyed. I think I read it a two years ago, I want to say, and that was a Beauty and the Beast retelling, and this is a Robin Hood retelling. I believe Robin Hood is a girl, and I am really looking forward to this one because I haven't read a Robin Hood retelling before. Next is The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston, which comes out on April 12th. This is the same author who wrote Geekerella, which is a retelling of Cinderella, but with fandom involved, and I loved it so much. It made my top list for 2018, and I really loved it so much. So anything by Ashley Poston, I'm going to read as well. But I believe this one is a retelling of The Princess and the Pauper. And I'm really on board with that. I haven't read a retelling of Princess and the Pauper before. So looking forward to this one too. <laughs> Next is Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan coming out also on April 2nd. A girl who can speak to gods must save her people without destroying herself. A prince in danger must decide who to trust. A boy with a monstrous secret waits in the wings. Together they must assassinate the king and stop the war. In a centuries-long war where beauty and brutality meet, their three paths intertwine in a shadowy world of spilled blood and mysterious saints, where a forbidden romance threatens to tip the scales between the dark and light. Wicked Saints is the thrilling start to Emily A. Duncan's devastatingly gothic Something Dark and Holy trilogy. This author is the author who wrote The Night Circus, 
and that was the last book that she wrote she's been on like a hiatus ever since then so i'm looking forward to what this person writes i have not read the night circus before but i've heard such amazing things sam from thoughts on tomes really loves that book i think that's her favorite book and she's currently i believe reading wicked saints and is really enjoying it so i put it on that list just because sam loves the night circus so much next is if i'm being honest by emily wibberly and austin siegeman broca coming out on april 23rd and i put this on this list because they came out with always never yours that came out i believe last year i've yet to read it so my tbr but i'm going to read it soon so if i'm really enjoying that i'm gonna buy this one as well <laughs> next is romanoff by nadine randis i'm so sorry i'm horrible with pronouncing names this comes out on may 7th i believe that this is a reimagining retelling of anastasia from the romanoff family and anastasia is one of my favorite films of all time and the broadway soundtrack is fantastic so i love anything about anastasia or the romanoff family so you best believe i'm buying this book as soon as it comes out one of my top most anticipated reads of the year and that is the bride test by helen huang which comes out also on may 7th and i already pre-ordered this one because i'm looking forward to it so immensely this is the companion book to the kiss quotient by helen huang which was one of my favorite books of 2018 i loved it so much it is an adult romance book and this i believe the main character man of this book is the cousin to the main character man in the kiss quotient so i'm really looking forward to this one and i can't wait because i love helen huang's writing style so much and like i believe this one also has to deal with mental health so i i'm I'm just loving her writing style, so of course I pre-ordered this one already. Next is Aurora Rising by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, which also comes out on May 7th. Wow, we have like five books on here coming out on May 7th. <laughs> I don't know anything about this book except it is science fiction, and these are the same authors who wrote The Illuminate Files, which are one of my favorite series of all time and i thought this cover is absolutely gorgeous i love their writing together so much and i'm interested to see what they're going to do with this book i want to know if it's the same writing format as the illuminate files because that one was told through files and text messages and emails and chats and everything there wasn't really any like dialogue to distinguish between the two authors to see who was writing who so i'm wondering if they're going to write this as a classic novel and maybe we could see who is writing which chapter Think that'd be interesting <laughs> number 26 is again but better by christine riccio which also comes out on may 7th i am of course purchasing this book because christine has been a great influence on me in my booktube journey and my reading journey overall if you didn't know christine riccio is a fellow booktuber here on the youtube i want to say she's like the booktuber that has the most subscribers correct me if i'm wrong i think i think so I'm not sure but I love her videos a lot and I'm really proud that she came out with a book so of course I'm gonna support her and buy this one and all I know about this one it, it's a YA contemporary taking place abroad next is this is not a love scene by SC Mc Miguel coming out also on May 7th lights camera all made needs is action but at 18, a rare form of muscular dystrophy usually stands in a way of romance. She's got her friends, her humor, and a passion for filmmaking to keep her focus off consistent rejection. And the hot older guy staring in her senior film project. Tall, bearded, and always swaying, Cole Stone is everything Maeve can't be, and she likes it. Between takes, their chemistry is shockingly electric. Suddenly, Maeve gets a taste of typical teenage dating life. But girls in wheelchairs don't get the hot guy, right? Cole's attention challenges everything she once believed about her self-image and hopes for love. But figuring this out, both emotionally and physically, won't be easy for either of them. Maeve must choose between what she needs and what she wants. Cole has a tendency to avoid decisions altogether, and your failing lungs might not wait for either. Next is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren, which comes out on May 14th. And I already pre-ordered this bad boy because, if you didn't know, I love Christina Lauren so much. I believe I read five of their books last year they all got really high ratings loved them so much so you best believe i pre-ordered this book knowing nothing at all about it except it is an adult romance book that's all <laughs> next is sorcery of thorns by margaret rogerson which comes out on june 4th i put this book on this list because i just recently read enchantment of ravens by margaret rogerson and i actually pretty much enjoyed that one so i think this cover is absolutely gorgeous by the way i know nothing about this book either except it is a fantasy book and i'm really looking forward to it because i really enjoyed margaret's other book next is find me their bones by sarah wolf also coming out on june 4th and this is the sequel to bring me their hearts which was 
one of my favorites of last year. Really loved it and it ended on a cliffhanger. So I need this book in my hands right now. The first book, YA fantasy series that I just love. I have a review for it on my channel. I will link it down below. One of my favorite YA books of all time. That was the only like YA fantasy book that I loved last year loved last year. Really recommend it and can't wait for the next book to come out. Next is Vow of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson coming out on August 6th. Mary E. Pearson came out with the Kiss of Deception series which is my favorite series of all time. This is the second book to the Dance of Thieves books that she came out with. Dance of Thieves is currently sitting right over there. Currently really want to read it and hopefully by the time this book comes out I will read that one but that takes place in the Kiss of Deception world so really looking forward to that one and the sequel. Next is Say You Still Love Me by K.A. Tucker coming out on August 13th. K.A. Tucker writes contemporary romance books, adult romance books, and I love them a lot. Um, I've read how many books? Um, over here I have two, I believe. I read two of her books before and I really enjoyed them. One is a five-star read. I believe the other one's a three-star read and I'm really hoping I can find another five-star read by her. I still have re to read all of her books, but, um, her book Five Ways to Fall is one of my favorite, um, adult romance books ever. So hopefully this book will be be just as good as that one. Next is Of Ice and Shadows by Audrey Colthurst, which comes out on August 13th. This is the sequel to Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst, which I was like hooked on last year. I believe I like sat myself down to go to bed at like nine o'clock at night one school night. I stayed up till 4 a.m. to finish that book. I was hooked. I believe I only gave it like a four or a 4.5 out of five stars. It wasn't a five star read for me, but it was amazing and it got me hooked. I really want to know what happens. Oh, and my dog's trying to get down. Oh, there he goes. You want to get out? You want to leave? Anyways, I'm really looking forward to the second book just because um, I want to learn more about our characters that were in the first book. Next is Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell coming out on August 27th. It's a Rainbow Rowell graphic novel and I believe it's a middle grade, which is so exciting for me. Like, that is like, that's so, that, that's so cool. <laughs> this looks super cute. And like, I know nothing about this book. Also, it's a graphic novel. Rainbow Rowell put together sounds amazing and this cover looks so cute. Next is The World of Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas coming out on September 3rd, the day before my birthday. Ooh, that'd be a nice birthday present. <laughs> Basically, I think just like a book talking about the whole Throne of Glass world now that the series is over. And I'm really looking forward to this one because I love Sarah J Maas so much. Next is Frankly in Love by David Yoon coming out on September 10th. I know nothing about this book as well, but I know more information about this author. This is the husband to Nicola Yoon, who wrote Everything Everything and The Sun is Also a Star, which are two of my favorite YA contemporary books. And I believe this one that David is writing is also a um, YA contemporary book. I think it's just so cute and cool that her husband's coming out with a book too. So really looking forward to this one as well. And lastly, we have The Ippos King by Grace Draven coming out sometime in December of 2019. I am really looking forward to this book. If you didn't know, there's a little book on my shelf over there. Kind of steamy one with the two cuddling over there. That is Grace Draven's first book in this series. And it's like a forbidden love slash arranged marriage fantasy romance adult book so good i've read that one i've read the first one i've read the second one and the third one this is it this is the third one and i need it in my hands like now it was on last year's list as well because there wasn't a set date and i just looking forward to it so much i think it was actually supposed to come out in 2017 originally and it never happened so i've just been looking forward to it forward to it for years and years and years and uh this book needs to be in my hands right now but it's almost a year away so it's gonna be quite a while anyways there you have it. those were all 38 books that i'm really looking forward to in 2019 and if you are going to try to read any of these books or if any of these books sound interesting to you please let me know down in the comments below i'd love to strike up a conversation with you about them anyways thank you all so much for watching and i will see you soon with a new video bye